Hi, my name is Mike Applin, Senior Product Director for All Things Luxury here at Jayco RV, and we'd like to welcome you to our brand new 2025 Pinnacle. Now, Pinnacle's been around a long time, however, we've always had paint jobs on it or paint schemes available. This is three new that we're going to have for 2025. This is the Midnight Gold. We also have the Midnight Charcoal, which is the exact same paint job, but everywhere where you see the gold pinstripe or the gold stripe here, that will actually be a metallic silver. So that is your Midnight Charcoal. So we have one of these, and we'll be showing you the third one here uh, as well in a video. So to get things started, we didn't do a ton of things to the outside that were new because we feel that the things that we've been doing are above uh, the rest of the other manufacturers anyway. But from that standpoint, we talk about capacities, we talk about safety buckets, we talk about things like that. One of the things that I like to always lead with is our max LP. What does that mean to the consumer? Well, typically you're gonna have two 30 pound bottles. That's what you're gonna have, that's your capacity. It's gonna run everything that you have that's propane in your coach. We take it a step further. For standard equipment, for all North Points and Pinnacles, we actually give you three 40 pound bottles. And you can see the size of a 30 pound bottle typically will be about right here and you can see the 40. In fact, you as a consumer, if you're out shopping, if you wanted a little cheat code, you see this weld right here? If you see that weld, you know it's a 40 pound bottle right away. So we have one here and we have two on the other side. So 120 pounds will double everybody's capacity and that's standard equipment on all North Points and Pinnacles. We also like the convenience of six point leveling. So if you see the six point hydraulic leveling down here, what's really neat about it is literally one touch. So you can do it from here. Uh, actually, it's on the other side. There's the buttons on the off door side. You can run it from your phone. You can pair the BM Pro Smart Coach to your phone. You can run it that way. But it's as simple as one touch. It's retract all when you bring them back up. It also has the built in hitch memory on it as well. So when you go and you're at the campground, you unhook your truck you actually can retain that so when you pull back in, you don't have to fiddle around with it and find the different heights. You can just pull right underneath it again. It's a great convenience. So six point hydraulic leveling. Up here is your optional generator compartment. Um, we also have options for solar up here as well. We have three levels of solar, our top of the line. It's almost $23,000, but when I can assure you that it'll do everything but basically make your breakfast for you, Every single thing that you would want in a solar system is available from Jayco, three different levels. We also started several years ago, room to four to six batteries. Think about that, you have a solar system, but what do you need? You need a bank of batteries. You don't want them taking up all of your pass-through storage and whatnot. So room to four to six batteries there. We also have room for the built-in generator optional. We also have room for the optional solar system as well. So huge storage capacity up there. We have an unbelievable pass-through storage area. Notice the magnets that will hold the door up for you. So look at the size of this unobstructed pass-through storage. We have unbelievable storage here. We have place for cable satellite for you to run an exterior, another TV here if you'd like. We have extra 110 outlets that are actually uh, GFI protected there as well. They're also 12 volt. So that'll go to your inverter as well because every one of these comes with a GE uh, 110 volt refrigerator with an 1800 watt inverter. We also here have your J-Port system right here. We actually have a patent on our J-Port. That's so every single floor plan, regardless if it has an outside kitchen or not, you can still do an outside griddle. So good rule of thumb, if you find a North Point or Pinnacle floor plan and it already has a built-in camp kitchen, then there is no J-Port available because we're gonna give you the new Halo griddle as standard equipment inside of that. If it's a floor plan that does not have an outside kitchen, that's where the patented J-Port comes in. So every single floor plan has the ability for an outside griddle. Now, the new Halo griddle, this is new for us this year. We actually have an exclusive on it right now. That is a phenomenal, we, we did some Googling on this as well. And it, if you take the top 10 griddles in the United States, it was rated the top ranked griddle for recreational use. It has an awesome uh, lid on it as well. It has a rear grease trap on it. This thing will go up to about 700 degrees for searing of steaks and things like that. Just a phenomenal griddle. And that is part of the J-Port system or an outside kitchen. Way back in the corner, we also have the Nuvo uh, water system. That is new for this year. It's a three cartridge filter system. What's cool about it is that it actually filters 5,000 gallon, 5, gallons of water. 
it's we we kind of got onto it by by looking we got contacted by the manufacturer but we didn't realize it was actually a residential system. Um, they're in over 25,000 spec homes out in the Western United States. So big and residential, never been in the RV space. What's cool about it is years past, we had the five gallon jug that we actually had a patent on. That patent still exists, but one of the downsides to it is it only ran to the little spigot in the kitchen, it ran to your ice and it ran to your water in your refrigerator, not the whole house. So we also have included a whole house water filtration filter in it, but this new Nuvo system is actually has water softening to it, not with salt, with citrus. So you can be taking a shower. Uh, you don't worry about the lime buildup or anything like that on your shower doors. Um, you can drink 99.9% .9 filtration. So who wants to drink campground water, uh, correct? That's why we had the five gallon system. Well, now you can brush your teeth in purified water. You can take a shower in purified water. It runs to every single outlet in the coach and that is standard equipment. We have an exclusive on that as well. So that is new for this year, okay? One of the things that I get asked about too, and a lot of people don't know what this is. This is actually what's referred to as a thermistor, okay? This goes to your BM Pro Smart Coach to where you can be inside the coach and I can tell you what the outside temperature is at your campsite before you ever walk outside. So I have a lot of questions on the forums that always ask what this is and we also have them on the inside of the coach because in years past you'd have a digital thermost uh, thermostat. This takes the place of it because it goes to your BM Pro Smart Coach. So that is a thermistor. We also have a port for uh, water right here so you can spray off your steps and everything. Very good convenience as well. And then we also have the central vacuum system. The central vacuum system not only works on the inside of the coach with a tow kit, we also have a full hose and accessory kit that goes along with it. So that is standard equipment. And then here is actually a JBL controller. So instead of having to take a, a wireless speaker with you or travel with it or lose it for heaven's sake, you can just pair your phone here. Now it goes to your JBL marine grade speakers on the outside. So very cool feature, has great sound to it, and it's all built in as standard equipment. In fact, on the inside of the coach, when we do our walk around on the inside, I will show you the JBL sound system with wireless subwoofer that will literally make your hair stand up. It is awesome. So the more I'd step above, now, we've talked about this in previous videos as well. We actually helped develop this with Moride. Uh, their first uh, iteration of this, uh, it would just go kind of slamming down uh, to the ground. There was no way to hold it. So we got them to incorporate their strut system in it. Um, you can actually bring it up and it'll stay put right here because let's face it, how many of us campers have a dog in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and a drink in the other hand? So trying to do the steps is a little inconvenient. So you don't have to worry about this coming down, smashing your toes, coming down on your head. The more I'd step above is a fantastic system. We also couple it with their oversized grab handle. So that will extend all the way out here because who wants awesome steps if you don't have any way to get up or down safely. So standard equipment, we actually started that last year. Moving on this area right here, we have our full-time RVing. This warranted for full-time RVing. Every single one of our fifth wheels, every single one of our toy haulers has that sticker on it. I still believe we're the only, we're, I know we were the first, but I believe we're still the only that has every one of their fifth wheels, every one of their toy haulers that are going to be warrantied for full-time RV use, okay? The 2 plus 3 warranty, of course, we've had that forever, and we're very proud of that two-year warranty, but a lot of people take it for granted. You know, if you're looking at any other brands out there that have the one-year warranty, I refer to it as a 12-month warranty. Okay, at 12 months and one day, it's over. At least with every Jayco, you get a full 365 more days of camping season. In fact, our friends up north in Canada, maybe a six time usage warranty. You might use, use the coach six times and then you're done. You put it away for the season. Well, when you bring it back out, it's out of warranty. So two full years, but for somebody like me that's a senior product director, I love it because I actually get a second year of data. Now you think about that. If every other manufacturer only gets one year of data, how can they re-engineer it back into their coach the following year? So I can take that second year of data for any potential failures that we may see, fix that moving into the next model year. So that two year warranty to me is huge. We have some great safety. In fact, I refer to it as our safety bucket. Safety buckets are things like, um, tires for example customers shouldn't have to worry about upgrading their tire what's the first thing that i do when i buy my new coach oh i better go get some new tires why makes no sense 
We have the largest RV tire available. It's a 17 and a half inch, 16 ply H-rated tire. What does that mean to you? Most manufacturers are going to give you a 16 inch wheel and tire, usually an E or a G rated tire, which is only a 14 ply tire. Once again, this is a 16 ply tire. We don't have tire failures with this Uniroyal tire. This is our second model year with it. If it was so problematic, I can assure you, we're not going to keep using it. But this Uniroyal tire has been fantastic. In fact, even your spare tire is going to be a 17 and a half inch H rated 16 ply. We talk about things in that safety bucket. For example, these are Dexter axles. Dexter axles, the number one selling uh, axle in the United States, maybe even the world for that matter. That being said, standard equipment, we started this last year, anti-lock braking system with sway mitigation. Now you think about that. Your tow vehicle has anti-lock brakes. Why wouldn't your trailer? If I'm getting into a sway event, if somebody cuts me off, if I get into a skid, if I get into snow or ice, this will actually go so much faster than what your uh, brain can react to the steering wheel or brake, and it'll just take you out of that sway event. So that's standard equipment as well. We also couple that with our five-star handling package. That's 4,000 pound springs, not 3,500. That's gonna be those big tires that I spoke of. That's gonna be grease cirques, bronze bushings. Um, we are gonna have the Moride Kingpin in there too. That's the, the rubber pin box, the RPB. Um, that is going to have three inches of front to back and an inch and a half side to side of rubber absorption. So think about all the shock that's going to the trailer. Well, think about all the shock that's going to your tow vehicle as well. So if we can prevent that, not only do we save equipment, but we also give you a more stable ride as well. And then we, uh, we end it with LRE 4000 on all the pinnacles. That is four inches of rubberized suspension that goes up and down vertically four inches. So that's all standard equipment on our five-star handling package. One of the upgrades on a pinnacle versus a North Point is going to be the outside TV. So this is a 4K smart TV. It's all app based, everything like that. So, you know, the, the days of direct TV and things, we're not saying that you can't, but this is just like your house. Everything is app based. If you had a, a fire stick or anything like that, everything runs off of this. So it makes it so simple. You have so many channels at your uh, fingertips, uh, whatever subscriptions that your favorite, whether it be uh, YouTube TV, Netflix, whatever. So that's gonna be standard equipment as well. This little port right here is for your spare tire. So we can just crank it up and down. You don't have to get underneath it. It just is just like your truck. It's on a cable. You just twist it down. This right here, is access to your uh, your uh, GE refrigerator. Now, I don't know why other manufacturers don't do this. It doesn't make any sense to me. One of the negative things that people talk about on that refrigerator is how do I access it? How do I repair it? What do I do? Do I have to take it out? Do I have to skid it across my linoleum and ruin it? Well, obviously I'm gonna show you. That's all been taken care of. Now, this isn't the first model year. We've been doing this for several years, but now you can see the back side of the refrigerator. Now, this GE refrigerator is part of the GE suite of appliances, which we'll get into more when we go to the inside, but this has accessibility for any diagnostic as well as winterization back here too. So if you're kind of that do-it-yourselfer, no problem, you can do it here. If you bring it into the shop to have them winterize or do any uh, bearing checks or anything for you, they have access as well. So very cool to have that access door. A couple other things, last things on the uh, pinnacle, there's that J port that I spoke about. So you'll notice right above it, you have cable, satellite, and 110. Well, why is that back here? Well, I already have a TV over here. Yes, you do. Well, if I wanted to bring a big plastic picnic table with me, sit a 65 inch TV on it, have my griddle here. Now I've got my outside grilling station, okay? I have that going on at standard equipment. Remember, unless it has a built-in outside camp kitchen, then it's gonna have that griddle standard equipment. We have the back cap on it. So that is a separator between North Point and Pinnacle. That gives you a real high-end motorhome look. Um, you know, other people in this price point, you're just not gonna see it. We've been doing the rear cap for years, love it, think it's fantastic. It just really finishes off the rear end of the coach. On the other side, I know we're not going around the complete unit, but we do have a power cord reel that's gonna be standard on the Pinnacle as well. And think about this. So when it comes to Pinnacle and North Point, I think there's a little confusion sometimes. Last year, we went to a 102 wide body uh, with the North Point, and we did that to mirror Big Brother Pinnacle. Well. Think of Pinnacle as more of a package anymore, okay? It used to be a standalone product. 
I like to refer to it as a package, kind of like a Denali or an LTZ or an AT4 in a, in a, in a, a pickup truck. So if you think about that, they are the same build, they're built by the same people, they go down the same line, they have the same warranty, they have the same plywood, they have the same running gear, the same tires, I can go on, okay? However, there are some things in a pickup that are not available in a North Point, and that's where the separation starts. So not all your floor plans are identical, and then there's gonna be some items in a pinnacle that are just not available in a North Point. So think of it as more of a pinnacle package, okay? The last thing that I wanted to talk about, just real quick on the outside, in addition to the stunning new paint job, is the new RGB lights. So what, is the, what does that mean to you? So you're gonna get a remote control, and literally I can just sit here and change the outside colors of the lights. Before, I just had the same color light, one light. So new for this year, you're gonna have different lights that you can control on your coach, which is a pretty cool feature, and that's gonna be standard equipment on all the luxury products for this year. So. This pretty much takes care of the outside. I'll tell you what, let's go on the inside and let's check out some of the awesome features on the uh, 2025 Pinnacle. Now we're on the inside of the brand new 2025 Pinnacle. This is actually a revised floor plan. We've had the 36K PTS out for several years. This is the new 38K PTS. Now, as a consumer, what changed? We're gonna talk about that on the floor plan itself, but what I wanna do is I wanna take you around and show you some of the neat features that we have in the product because it's gonna be across the board in all the floor plans. So even though this is the 38, think of any floor plan out there that you may be looking at and you're gonna have these, these same features as well. So what I like to do is I like to start off with the smart coach. A lot of people get real intimidated by when I use the word smart, right? Well, I'm not very smart, so let's dumb it down a little bit, right? So if I have this tablet, okay? I can control all my functions from here, not a problem. Now, I was actually on the phone yesterday with a customer. They came to the visitor center to look at our brand new 25 products. And they called me up and they said, Mike, we had some questions on what do these buttons right here, what do they do? And I don't think enough people realize that these are actually hardwired to the node. These have nothing to do with the smart coach. What do I mean by this though? If I just press number one, I can turn my lights on I can turn them off in the coach. I have my water pump. These are actually my slides. So if I went here, I can do my slide one, two, and three. I can do my awnings. I can pair my phone from here. So if I have my uh, smartphone here and I wanna pair, I literally, now this is my remote control for it as I walk around the coach or even the outside of the coach. So if I pair my phone to this, this exact screen will pop up on my smartphone as well. So there's another thing for redundancy because when we talk about smart coaches, a lot of people think, well, I just want buttons. We have those too. So not only do I have a smart coach, I have redundancy buttons, and we also have what's called a BLE Bluetooth low energy switch, which I'll talk about here in a second as well. So we talk about that. We've got light switch up there. New for this year, I have been waiting for three or four or five years for a new ceiling fan. I swear the same ceiling fan that we had was since 1974. So we finally have a modern one in here. And what we did, instead of just throwing this remote control loose for you to lose, we permanently mounted it here. Now you can take it out of the cradle and walk around with, but from right here, I can turn on the ceiling fan. So we have a brand new ceiling fan for this year. We also incorporate, I don't know if you saw that, we have the magnets. We also have the soft close cabinet doors. That's a new feature for 2025. We have the new metal steps. So going up and down the steps, you know, in years past, a lot of manufacturers have actually taken the, the treads and gone all the way out to the wall. The problem with that is they're squeaky, right? Who wants squeaky steps if you don't have to? So we've taken care of that now with the new steps. Uh, on the previous video, when we talked about the exterior, we talked about the, uh, the dust pan and whatnot for our central vacuum system. So I can just do that and I can just broom everything into the coach or here's your port for all of your attachments as well in your hose. So a lot of manufacturers have really in the last two or three years, particularly starting in COVID and coming out last year's model year, have really decontented their units, got rid of ceiling fans, got rid of central vacuums, the list goes on and on. We actually put stuff into the coach. If you're gonna be paying this kind of money and this is the last coach you're ever gonna buy, why would you want a decontented coach? So that's not our philosophy here at Jayco. So we actually put new and improved features into it every single model year. We also in this floor plan have a, just an absolutely amazing pantry. So 
This year we actually incorporated adjustable shelves into everything. So now you can adjust the height for different size cereal boxes or whatever you want for bulk foods. So that's going to be uh, new for this year. But this floor plan has always been notorious for having this big, huge pantry right here. Extra bonus storage up there. You can decorate. You could put some uh, different ferns and plastic, what you might call it's up there and have some fun with it. You can also put some picture frames up there. We have the GE suite of appliances. We incorporated those last year, and uh, to my knowledge, I'm still the only manufacturing running all three components. There are some out there that are running mix-matched components, uh, maybe the GE oven or maybe the GE microwave, but a different refrigerator. You know what I'm talking about, vice versa. So we have this 21 cubic foot ice, water, and digital display here as well. We also have the microwave, which is not only a convection microwave, but it also has a built-in air fryer. I mean, which one, how many of us don't have an air fryer now, right? We've pretty much ditched our microwaves for air fryers. Well, you have the best of both worlds. You have the convection aspect that you can still cook or bake or do pies or cookies or cakes. Then you also have the air fryer. Now, make a quick joke. When GE came to us and were demoing, demoing this to us, I kind of made the joke. I asked them, I said, did they just make the whole left side of the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings menu? Because every one of their presets started off with chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, yada, yada. And I'm like, sounds like BW3s to me. But awesome feature. Now, you can actually go in and reconfigure that to your own preferences as well. So they give you a nice little guide to start. But custom, customize it. Make it your own. That's what's fun about RVing is making this coach your own. We also have the 24-inch oven, the big steel grates on it, the different size burners as well, turkey certified as well. So you can have a big giant turkey, which I never understood why people called it turkey certified, yet it wouldn't cook the turkey evenly, so you just threw it out. GE actually has their own cooking team. This is what's crazy. They have their own cooking team, and if they say it may take them a year and a half to perfect a pizza, there's no pizza stone involved. When you put it in there, let's say, for example, they say 16 minutes at 400 degrees. When it comes out, it's perfect. That's the difference between GE appliances and RV appliances. If you notice, we're not really big on RV parts and pieces. We like residential stuff. So that's part of the appliance package as well. So. You're probably wondering too, when I call this the 38 KPTS instead of the 36 KPTS, which we've probably had around for 10 years. Fantastic seller, great couples coach, uh, theater seat, you have the rear sofa and whatnot. Well, what we did is we actually took the entertainment center, which was a much wider in this floor plan, and we shrunk it down to the other size of the other floor plans. What did that get us? Now you can see the tremendous amount of cabinetry that we have throughout the coach. So great place for little knickknacks, paper towels and stuff like that out of the way. Notice I talked previously about the soft closed cabinet doors with the magnets, but the amount of upper storage is huge. And then look at the size of these drawers. Notice this is new for this year. You see how this is all solid hardwood. It's all finished off the dovetail jointed right here. Now there are one or two other manufacturers that are doing dovetail and that's great. I'm glad they are. The difference is, we actually are making ours in house. We don't buy them from a vendor and then put them on our coach. These are actually made in our mill room. So just like all the rest of the parts and pieces of our cabinetry, that's made by Jayco. Once again, two year warranty, not 12 month warranty. So see how finished off it is, the dovetail jointed, that's gonna be standard in all pinnacles, north points, seismic luxury and seismic uh, for 2025. Now, the soft closed drawers, of course, but this is what I talk about with storage solutions for 2025. Let's face it. I love being at a show or talking with customers and you know it's all about storage storage and I, I totally agree but if it's got to be storage it better be functional so you can see throughout this coach you see how we have the top mount and bottom mount for storage right here for silverware as well as spatulas and other knickknacks down below so we try to really utilize that space now more cabinet space pots and pans I showed you that first drawer. I mean, look at the amount of storage that we just have throughout on this coach. Another thing too is, you know, these RV floor plans aren't very conducive sometimes to the same things that you have at your house, like cookie sheets, for example. New for this year, now you have cookie tray storage in certain floor plans. Certain islands will have it here. Uh, other floor plans that have certain islands will have it in this side. But you can just see we've really thought about all the different ways that you can store all of your accessories, all of your, um, you know, eatery, cookery, 
anything like that, spatulas, forks, knives, spoons, it doesn't matter. We've got all that stuff handled for you. You know, last year we incorporated the built-in dishwasher standard equipment pinnacle. Now keep in mind, all my floor plans are pre-wired or plumbed for it, so that's not a big deal if you wanted to have the dealer add one after the fact or yourself being a DIY guy, but standard equipment in the pinnacle, okay? So everything we saw here is literally mirrored on this side. So once again, not just one, but now we've got them on both sides. So really, really cool, really proud of that. We also incorporated up at the ceiling, we have new can style lights. These new 4K lights uh, actually give it almost like a, a weird illusion. When you look up, it looks like the light is recessed up into the ceiling. That's gonna be new. So all of your ceiling lights are new for this year as well. Now, talking about the look and feel of a pinnacle. So this is the same cabinetry that we debuted last year. This is chase wood. This is all real solid hardwood throughout. There's no wrap styles. There's no vinyl or paper. This is the real deal. Now, this is all handcrafted. It's hand painted and it's 90 sheened by hand. Standard equipment in all the pinnacles. Gives it a very clean modern look. In fact, you can even look up at your fascia boards and you will not see any mechanical fasteners. What do I mean by mechanical fasteners? It's not uncommon to have the old staple gun and then you got all the putty showing and all that stuff. You can see how clean and smooth and everything is. And we actually found a way to do that without using any mechanical fasteners. So that is something that we started last year. But I want to point it out because Pinnacle is up substantially in sales. I mean, the sales are through the roof. And I just want to make sure that people know there are some differences that we do that the other manufacturers just don't have an option for. Now, at Jayco, we love stereo systems. I know in years past, some of the things that were available to us were probably not up to par, uh, probably more RV-ish, if you will, than residential. Uh, myself, I love high-end fidelity at home. All my vehicles, I do everything aftermarket, aftermarket subwoofers and amplifiers. I just love stereos, I love music. Well, this JBL, we actually took four or five of the most highest brand names you've probably heard at home, and we just took them for a test. Which ones work the best? Well, this JBL with wireless subwoofer, I mean, it literally smoked everybody. This thing is so awesome. I'm at shows, and I like to demo it with uh, the Matrix fight scene. Um, I play that for customers, or I'll just ask them, what's your favorite uh, song? We'll put it on here, and it literally make their hair stand up. They're blown away. They can't believe how clean, uh, how loud, and how much that subwoofer. It literally uh, vibrates the theater seats over there for an experience. But uh, love the stereo system. It was new for last, last year, but I wanted to touch base. Um, obviously, we have the Televator. So you got the 50-inch smart TV is here. But one of the things, because I don't want to forget about this for this year, while you're sitting down, I can run the Televator from over here as well. So that's all new for this year. So every single floor plan, even in, for example, our front living room floor plans, if you're sitting in the nose in one of the front uh, theater seats, you literally don't have to get up and go to the kitchen to raise the television up or down. So every single one will have the Televator button in two locations. So uh, just talking about those things with the electronics, we have bonus storage everywhere. This is all solid hardwood. None of that's fake. That's all solid hardwood as well. We have the uh, hide -a bed sofa. But last year, you know, I troll all of our forums. I troll other manufacturers' forums. I like to see what customers' uh, hot buttons are. And I make a spreadsheet. It's very simple. Make a spreadsheet and start putting everything down on that spreadsheet. Well, guess what the number one hot button was? Was the fake leather or what people call pleather in these coaches that you see predominantly through all the manufacturers. So we actually went to a stain guard protected fabric last year. We debuted it at the Hershey RV show. And by hour two, I had just numerous customers coming up and saying, oh, finally, thank you, Mike. No more of that fake stuff that just peels and cracks and gets destroyed. Now we have something that's soft, it feels good, but yet it's stain guard protected. So everything North Point, Pinnacle, Seismic Luxury, Seismic across the board in the luxury brands, all have fabric. In fact, you're going to see that through all of our products this year in the towables, all based off of what we did last year in the luxury line. So the fabric furniture with the stain guard protection. Now, a little earlier in the, in the video, I was talking about BLE or Bluetooth low energy switches. So remember, you can have your phone to control everything. You can go up to the smart coach and control everything, or these actually run off of a watch battery. These aren't even hardwired, but 
you can see I can do different commands. See, I just turn the ceiling lights off. I can also press and hold, and I can dim the lights from here as well. So now I can dim my lights down. I just let go, go right back, push and hold, and bring them all the way up bright again. So I'm amazed at how many customers don't even know that our ceiling lights dim. Well, they're fully dimmable. I can do it on my smart coach, I can do it on my phone, or I can do it from the BLE switches. But these are gonna be throughout the coach. There's some in the living room, there's some in the kitchen, there's some up in the bedroom. Every single one of those has a different task to that zone of the coach. So I don't even have to get up. I can just reach over and I can control my lights. Now, moving around to this area right here, we've always had a 24 by 24 butcher block and customers loved it. In fact, that's one of the things that I see on the forums where people are doing it themselves after the fact to older coaches is putting a, a butcher block flip up countertop. So for this year, we eliminated that. However, we have not only a waterfall edge, but we made it into a flip up bar top and prep area. So it's real simple. All you have to do, it's held in place with magnets and with struts, and I pull it straight out, okay? Once I do that, now I've got a flip up bar top. I can have extra eating area over here for people. I have extra prep area, extra serving. Now you can look at the size of this island is absolutely monstrous, okay? When I get done and I wanna go and travel or anything, it's real simple. I've got two releases underneath here. I bring it down. And then I just watch my fingers on either side, but I just reach down here and I just push it right back in. Now everything is flush all the way around. It gives it a waterfall look, but it's functional as a flip up bar top or countertop extension. So that's new. Another thing that we've been doing about uh, three, four years now, we just don't like following the crowd. You know, a lot of people think, well, if so-and-so is doing something, you should do it too. Well, the hot button for the last three years or so has been to eliminate all of your floor registers in your floor, okay? That sounds great in theory. <clears throat> I won't say which brand, but we actually tested another brand's, uh, for lack of a better term, no, uh, no register floor, and it was between 33 and 36% less efficient in airflow or heating than the ones that we had uh, with our in-floor heating for years, okay? New for this year, we've been trying this in our R&D department. And by the way, our R&D de uh, department is a 10,000 square foot uh, facility where we test everything. I don't care if it's a component, an appliance, uh, you name it, we test it all there. And we actually found our own proprietary ductless system, or not ductless system, but ventless system in the floor. And we also retained them not only in the bedroom, the bathroom, and the living room because if you look at other manufacturers they may have no floor registers in their living room but they still have them in their bed bathroom makes no sense you're either all in or you're all out so it took us this long to develop this this is a proprietary system to us there isn't anybody else using this system and now we have no floor registers from the front of the coach all the way to the rear and the way that we finished it off we actually got a little bit more airflow than what we had before. Instead of being a 30, 36% uh, reduction, we actually had a gain. So that's gonna be new for this year as well. On your theater seats, uh, we added this center section to all floor plans, okay? So there were some floor plans where it would be just butted up next to each other, and some floor plans would have the flip down with the cup holders, the 110, and the USB ports, okay? For this year, every single floor plan that has the rear living room with the theater seats right here, um, if it is this layout like here, rear living will have the center section. We also incorporated the little table trays too. So now you have a little place to set, uh, set your food or dinner or even a remote control if you'd like to. And then if you wanna put your cups anywhere, we have the cup holders. So that's all new for this year. We also incorporated some new dinette chairs. You get two here, then you get two folding ones that match it as well. And then this is the thing I've been waiting to show you. This is a new table setup that we had. So the tables in, in years past, it was real simple. You just lifted it up and pulled out a little extension. I wanna show you how this works here. This actually, look at the size of this table. So it kind of rolls up like a garage door. I'll get out of the way here just to show you how big that is. But you can see all that does, and then it just telescopes down, just like a garage door back behind the buffet. So. It's real simple. I just lift up on it slightly and just walk it in. 
This is the storage position. If, I, if it's just a husband and wife and I want to give them a little bit more room, I can pull it out to this level. If I have guests over, I can pull it out to this level or I can pull it all the way out too. So this is the new telescoping table that's going to be standard. And any floor plan that has a table and four chairs, whether it's a toy hauler, whether it's a North Point, Pinnacle, doesn't matter. This is the new table setup. The last thing that I want to talk about in here is the all-in-one do-it-all sink. So underneath the bed, we actually store a couple different uh, uh, vegetable trays and things like that. This has, well, you just take a glass, put it on here. It's going to shoot water up there and clean your glasses. Well, remember, you have the built-in dishwasher in here as well, but it'll do this. It also has the vegetable rinse on it. So you'll have water that comes out here. You can clean your vegetables and whatnot. And the reason I save this for last is after you do your prep, now you can see this. I've got my built-in trash can, but you see the pull-out butcher block here. So the butcher block went from here to here. We put this rectangular hole in it. I get done prepping, and I can just put everything right into my trash can from the sink to here to the table. So that is all new for this year. So that's pretty much it on the inside of the living room area. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you up into the bed bath area and show you some of the new things that we did for 2025 as well. So moving up into the bed bath area, I'm going to show you some things that are, once again, it's more customer feedback, but every single floor plan, we try to make a place for a coat closet, right? It's so important when you walk in the coach. Underneath the steps, we have the shoe garage. You can kick your shoes off right underneath, or as I open this up, you can see I've got a huge uh, coat closet in here as well. So everything's held in place with the magnets, soft closed drawers, and then all this bonus storage up here as well. So once again, every single place that we can make storage possible or available, we're going to try to make it happen. So if I walk up into the bed bath area, you know, you have seen a lot of manufacturers that have a teak seat or this walk-in shower effect. Just so you know, this actually started and was originated designed by Jayco RV. It actually started in our seismic luxury product several years ago. After we debuted it there, then it moved to our pinnacle, then it moved to our north point, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But make no mistake, this teak seat, the walk-in shower, was developed by Jayco. So if you see it in another manufacturer, Thank you, Jayco, because we actually developed this for the RV industry. We also have the shower tower standard in all pinnacles. This is the 300 pound capacity seat right here. So if I have a customer, let's say that's seven feet tall, and I've had that happen several times, they're not always going to be able to stand up in all my showers. And that's why we have this down here. They can still take a shower, sit down, whatnot. But I'm six foot two, and you can see, even with the skylight, how much room that I have in here for head, extra headroom as well. So. Just want to make sure that you know we try to maximize the size of all of our bathrooms no question across the board new for this year we've had vessel sinks for the last several years we went to a, a flush mounted sink for this year we found a nice porcelain one very expensive new faucet and then we redesigned our lab so we incorporated all of these drawers in here and remember i talked about the finished off solid hardwood with the dovetail jointer that we make in-house here at jaco that's throughout the coach it's not going to be just in the kitchen we're going to put it everywhere so you can see the soft closed drawers and then obviously a massive amount of storage for toilet paper and things like that so all new for this year will be the vanity top and then we always had this and you can see i know it sounds trivial but you see this nice lip that we put on everything so it doesn't everything doesn't fall out when you get to your campsite so just a little extra that we do here at jaco moving on to the master suite this was all redesigned for 2024. the king bed standard in here okay we also use the big deep slide out room so you can see how much more foot room you have at the edge of the bed so super deep slides standard equipment and all the bedroom slides we also have the barreled ceiling we didn't talk about it out there i wanted to wait till we got up here once again i'm six foot two and look how much headroom that i have up here because we have the barreled ceiling now you can think about some of the benefits of that what about rain what about snow what about ice melt anything like that when i have that big dumb ceiling but this is actually what we call our Magnum XL6 roof system. This system right here, we've probably talked about in other videos, our Magnum Trust roof system. That is this system on steroids. This is literally the same uh, rafter all the way out to the side as it is in the middle. So if I'm almost six inches here in the middle, I'm six inches here. If you look at other traditional roof rafters in the industry, as they go down, they taper down to literally nothing. And the, and the benefit 
or the detriment I should say is that they're unable to insulate about this far inside of their coach on their roof line. So all the way down, if you take a 40 or 42 foot coach and you're missing that much insulation or you're trying to jam it into there, you're actually decreasing the properties of that insulation, okay? So when I can do that, I can have the thick, puffy insulation all the way out to my side and therefore I can have uh, insulation that's not smushed down and decreasing its R value. So that's with the barreled ceiling that you see here. We also have the dual whisper quiet airs. You can see throughout the coach, we do not see any air conditioners, uh, any of venting in there. These are actually the return airs for that. We can turn them on high and we can actually have the same conversation. We don't have to worry about raising our voices to, uh, over the television or whatnot. We also have a 4G Wi-Fi repeater that we do standard as well new for this year and i want to make sure i clarify this it is 5g prepped so we've already done the wiring for 5g uh, we have all the the terminals inside the ceiling right there for you so it's 5g prepped however we give a 4g wi-fi repeater so if a customer wanted to upgrade to WineGuard's 5g we've already taken care of all the wiring for you to replace so just wanted to make sure on that as well now moving up here to the whole redesigned front wardrobe that we did last year, the feedback on this has just been huge from the customers. Because in years past, all you had was these big glass doors that went down and there was no storage down here. So we actually incorporated all of these drawers. I like to call it or refer to it as hers and hers drawers. Sorry guys, but look at how deep these are. So all of this space before we even have a, a clothes hamper right here. A lot of people just use that for extra stuff or even more shoes, but all of that space down there is all new. We also in a pinnacle have a cedar line wardrobe up here. You can see the real metal uh, clothes rods and everything that are super heavy duty. This is all solid hardwood on this top. This isn't any pressed or any fake wrapped wood. This is all solid hardwood throughout. We have it on each side. We also have USB and USC ports here. We have 110 that's all runs off your inverter. So depending on which side of the bed, if we have any of our customers that have a CPAP or anything, we have an outlet down there. We have another outlet here. You can put your CPAP machine here. You can set it down here on the floor because there's different size CPAPs for all customers. If it's one of the mini systems, it could actually sit here on top of the, uh, the shelf as well. So you have choice and that's all based off of customer feedback. So I personally don't use a CPAP machine, but um, I want to know what people are using out there and what's the best way in an RV to, to utilize that. So like I said, left side of the bed, right side of the bed, on the floor, on the shelf, here inside the closet, or you can plug in right there as well. Okay. So the last thing I want to talk about in this area is look at the amount of walk around space around the bed. It is so common that customers talk about, man, I need more room around the bed. I mean, I don't know what this is. This is what, two feet, maybe more. So that was another byproduct of the redesign of the front wardrobe up here. Lastly, we also have the stackable washer and dryer. Here's your two extra chairs that we talked about that go out into the folding for the dinette area. More shoe cubby there, the washer and dryer prep. If you choose not to do washer and dryer prep, two more hanging clothes rods. And then if you do an all in one, you still have an additional clothes rod up above. Come standard up here with 32 inch smart TV, 4K smart TV, it's all standard as well. Lift up storage underneath here for any valuables out of the side, out of mind. And then obviously your chest of drawers down here. But remember earlier in the video, I talked about no in-floor heat ducts. So in the bathroom, we have another heat duct that comes out the back side of the bathroom wall, but this is all clean. You will not have to step on any floor registers in the middle of night with your toes or anything like that. Um, very clean, very efficient, new for 2025. So that pretty much wraps up everything for 2025 on the inside. Once again, this is the new 38 KPTS redesigned floor plan. We have several floor plans in the Pinnacle lineup that you can check out on our website. You can go to our local dealer. We're shipping 2025s now. So uh, please take a look at our website or our YouTube channel and uh, everything that's there, or you can give us a call here at Jayco. Uh, once again, my name is Mike Kaplan, Senior Product Director for All Things Luxury. Thanks for joining us today.